to try. Oh. To <laughs> yeah. Cool. How is everyone today? Fine. Uh, good. Fine. Thank you. Good. Well, what do you want to talk about today? <laughs> You may have already covered this topic. I haven't been here for a while, and it's really good to see everybody. Um, I thought I would try Zoom for free. Mm -hmm. So if not today, but another session sometime, we could talk about going and getting that and introducing ourselves to it. I understand you can have 40 minutes for free to mm -hmm. um, Zoom friends. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. um, so Good morning. Zoom, um, you already have a Zoom account and you have the free account because you're already on it right now. So you can schedule meetings, but I, I'm doing, I, I don't know if any of you have gone to the uh, Tuesday morning fellowship group before. Um, but I'm doing their first um, class on Zoom basics. So we'll talk about that, Sue, if you're able to do that. I think it's uh, Tuesday, September 15th. Excellent. At 10 a.m. So if you're able to go to that, we'll talk about Zoom basics. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. And there's a link to register for that in the church emails. Lynn, you mentioned to me about, mm -hmm. quote, I think you used the term bookmarking the WestminsterPC.org mm -hmm. thing so that when I go on for the services and things, I don't have to type it in every time again. I'd, I'd like to know how to do that. I don't. Sure. I need I need instructions on doing that. So I can just, that's one, it goes on the bar that goes across the bottom of the computer. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming. So what browser do you use? Do you use uh, Internet? Google Chrome. Chrome. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me show you how to do it on Chrome. Um, so let me open up uh, Chrome. So here's my Chrome. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to the website that you want. I already have bookmarked Westminster, of course. So you can type, go to the website you want to go to, okay. like the westminsterpc.org slash live stream to get to our service every mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And then um, at the top here, do you see this long bar here that mm -hmm. has the URL? There's a little star button over here on the right hand corner of that bar. Oh, uh -huh. And that's a bookmark. You click that okay. star and it bookmarks it. And then you can name it whatever you like. So if you want to call it WPC live stream or whatever you want, and then you can pick a folder that you want it. To, you want it on your bookmark bar. Am I going too quickly? If I'm going too quickly. Um, am I supposed to be doing this as we talk? <laughs> no, I, I didn't know if you were taking notes, but this I, will all be recorded so you can watch yeah, it I'm later or I'll send you links of step by step. How about that? Because I don't want to take up everybody else's time, but I just, I realized that when we talked about it, I, I didn't write it down, which of course meant then that I couldn't remember one bit of how to do it, so. So after you name it and you put it in the bookmark bar, you had done. And then anytime you open a new page, all of these things underneath here are bookmarks for me. So oh, this wow. will take me to, I don't name my bookmarks because I want to have a lot of That's a lot. There. Yeah. So, um, oh, no, it's nine minutes, nine minutes. So um, I have a ton up there, so I don't name them because the, the longer you name them, the longer they are. But if you say click on Amazon, it's going to take you to Amazon. Right, right to Amazon. Okay. And then you get these pillows up by below. Nice. I got um, so you would see WPC live stream or whatever you name it as, and it will appear there. Okay. But I'll send instructions. Hopefully I'll find some on the internet that 
can show you that. Well, and I could, I bet if I went on, used my phone and looked it up, I'd find it on there, wouldn't I? Mm -hmm. You find mm -hmm. everything on there. Mm -hmm. The first thing I, when I don't know how to do something, the first thing I do is go to Google and type in whatever that question is. So um, if you don't know how to do something and you're like, I don't want to pester your relatives or learn about this, go to Google, type in whatever it is. And then if you still don't understand it, then we, um, you know, can. Um... Lynn. Okay. Yes. Lynn. Yes. You could do that or that's also why God gave us kids. Yes. <laughs> we can just ask our kids. And Google will send you directly to YouTube. Most of the time, yes, because there's right. yeah. videos. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Of course. Hey. Carolyn, yeah. Yeah. Um, my computer has been operating more slowly lately, mm. and I'm wondering if it's either a dying battery or um, could it be because I have installed Firefox as well as Safari that Firefox is slowing Safari down and vice versa or mm -hmm. what? Um, by adding applications, it can slow your computer down depending on the processing power of your computer and okay. how old your computer is. Um, yeah, okay. I think it's about 2013. My guess is when it, 2013, that's an old life for um, a computer. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be slowly getting slower and slower and slower over the course of time. Um, and if you do security updates, which you yeah. should for your computer, those updates are going to take up more processing power and more of your memory. So it's going to, even though it's helping your computer, it's going to slow it down and eventually just keeps getting slower and slower. Now you're telling me that it's time to think about getting a replacement. <laughs> yes, I would say in the next year or two, you know, put it on your Christmas list or, you know, stop, maybe Good Friday, Black Friday, you know, look for some deals or. Um, okay, Thank But you. seven years is a good life for a computer. I know it is, and I, I like it very much. I'd love to hang on to it, but I know there is a limited timeline for them. So. I still have the my other question. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, I still have my 2009 <coughs> MacBook laptop. Yeah. Uh, and it's still process. It's still doing its thing. It's just really, really, really slow. Okay. So right. it's, it's to the point where I'm like, I can't, I'm just, it's too slow. I just don't want it, even though it works. Right. Okay. All right. It's frustrating. My, my other question is I have um, an external hard drive for backup. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was backing up. And I discovered that apparently it, it was not. And I'm wondering if I have to have the entire computer shut down before I connect the external hard drive and then boot it up in order to get the computer to recognize the hard drive? When you plug in the hard drive to your computer, it should pick up the hard drive. You just need to set it. You have a Mac, right? So, yes. Um, yes. So, and you I need to make sure Time Machine is connected with your hard drive. Did, did you set it up through Time Machine? Um, I think so, but I'll have to double check. Yeah, and and Time Machine, you can choose it so how often it backs it up. So it might you can you know set it for every year backup or every month. So maybe it just is set for the longer time span. I'd have to look at it. All right, to... oh, I'll, I'll I'll double check those things before I disturb you. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to disturb, but uh, yeah, I... if you go to your system. Uh, preferences uh, and go to Time Machine, you can link the hard drive, but it actually, um, I let, I keep my computer on for it to back up. It doesn't, when it's off, it can't back up because it's off. You can put it to sleep, but. Right. 
Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yes, Dan. Um, Question? Um, yeah. Who, who, who should Just, do it? Whoever wants to go. <laughs> Did you want to go? <laughs> Ladies first. Nancy, right. do you have a question? Okay. Yes, I do. Um, Lynn, I've, I've got my, um, my backup drive ready to go and I've plugged it, plugged the connector into the back of the, into the um, USB three port. All right, but when I put it, when I start it on, if I say I want it to back up once a week, I don't have to have it, or do I have to have it plugged in the whole time during that week or can I just leave it, the backup drive unplugged until I want to back up? Or does that just val does that just um, void no the reason to. calendar? And understand what it is, what I'm asking? <laughs> yes, yes. If you have it to set like Thursday night every week, so it goes, okay, every Thursday night we're going to back this up. You know, as long as you have it backed in, backed up on Thursday night, you should be good to go. So um, I can have it the rest of the time. Yeah, you could unplug it the rest of the time, but you'd have to make sure it's not end. Um, it should, keyword should. <laughs> I always put disclaimers on everything. Um, if, if you forget to do it on Thursday, you go, oh shoot, I forgot, it's Friday. Uh, you should be able to just plug it in on Friday and it will go, oh, it's been over a week. Okay. I'll back up. Keyword, it should be smart enough to do that. Um, but I'd have to check it out to confirm that theory. That's how mine is. It goes, oh, you, you forgot to plug it in. We'll just do it for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I hope that helps. <laughs> Dan? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I have an idea for a topic that I'm interested in. Is this a time I can talk about it? Sure. Um, you know, I have what I call the gift of verbosity. I have a lot of words. I tend to be wordy. What, what you say in two sentences, I can easily say in three paragraphs. I just have a lot of words. And when you have that in the computer world, it means I have a lot of documents. Um, this was actually Patty's thought on this, is the idea of document storage. Um, I'd like to learn more about what I can do to do it more efficiently, secure, and um, just the proper way to store the, all the documents I have. So I tend to think there's technology, there's te always technology I'm just not aware of. So now is that too big, is that too big a thing to undertake or? Is, are these paper documents that you want no, to- No, I'm saying paper? online storage of stuff. Online storage, okay. In other words, I produce all this stuff that I, and then where do I put it? Um, I don't have a good process for storing documents. Mm. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of, um, as Steven said in the chat, that you can put them in folders on your computer or you can use the cloud, um, both of which are easy enough. But if you're saying your computer's not good to hold the stuff on its computer and you want it to go up in the cloud, um there's different see you make the statement it's easy enough um <laughs> you know my files are in the folder my mind's in the cloud i think i i don't i, I gotta know how to do it <laughs> so i need help in that area yes yes <clears throat> um so yeah i'm guessing you want uh for you, tech-wise, it'd be easier to keep it on your computer. But if your computer's not powerful enough to um, store it effectively and safely, um, that that would be the issue. Uh, going in the cloud is, uh, you know, easy enough and safe. It would just be a lot harder learning curve for you to get comfortable with that. Well, you know, I'm not a functional illiterate. I can deal with this stuff, but I do. For instance, you and Steven gave me the ideas as far as the bookmarks, and that's perfect. Why did I think about that? There's more stuff out there, I think, that I could do um, that I can incorporate into it. So, mm -hmm. 
um, like my, types, yeah. my other question for you is, do you want to make it like the Word document? Do you want to put it in Microsoft Word and type it up that way? Or do you want to do it in a cloud-based program, which would be a whole new thing for you? Um, I'd just soon stick with a Word document and then have the Word document in a place that's easily accessible and secure. Mm -hmm. I might suggest to you to do something with Dropbox. Um, it's, it's a small gigs. Um, it's only two gigs for a freebie um, account. But if you're just doing Word documents, it's probably easy enough. Um, and uh, big enough that that's all you need, depending on how much you have. But you can create folders and you can put like, these are my you know, uh, I would, budgets from whatever, and you can put that in a folder and then you can like journal. I and like something like I could have a Stephen ministry folder. I could have a extended communion folder. I could have a, a, a financial folder, things That's like very this. Easy. Pardon? Yeah. Oh. yeah, you could have folders in that, but it's all cloud-based. So it's not taking up storage on your computer. You see, the cloud, that's not a problem for me, is it? I mean, what? Yeah. if you tell me what to do, I will do it. I'm very compliant. <laughs> that gives me a lot of power. What if I give you bad information? It's always changing. I, would, I, I might be out of loop. <laughs> I wouldn't know the difference. That's the advantage of being excessively mature. I don't know the difference. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, Sue, you had a question. Um, uh, to kind of uh, mention a, bit, a little bit more about what I think Dan was talking about. I know how to create a new folder and save a document in it, but I don't have a grasp of the logic of folders, naming folders, naming files, so you know what you've updated. If there's a, could be a presentation about just basically, you know, how to organize your brain so you can organize your files <laughs> and name them. <laughs> oh, maybe that's a brain transplant. I don't know if you can do that. But. I'm happy to do that, but it's, uh, unfortunately, organization is different for every single person. So okay. Yeah, but I'm teachable. Just drop and paste, like how, how I, I used to do it at work, and I forget how, where I'd say, oh, I no longer want this folder because I'm not active in it. So I'm going to put it, you know, click and drag it in and store it in this other place. And I forget all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I, I will do it your way, Lynn. I'm, I'm, very, <laughs> I'm very compliant, but just, um, is this something you could do a class in? Sure, sure. Um, I, it's two different ways. I'll have, I'll have to do it at church. So I have a, um, here's the PC version and here's the Mac version because that's two different. It's the same basic principle, but it just looks different. And if you're not tech savvy enough to know how to transfer what I'm telling you on one versus the other, it might be confusing. So maybe next week we do um, half the class you know, Mac and half the class PC. And uh, maybe that would be helpful. Mm, thank you. I don't know. Sue, you said it very well in a few words. See what I mean? You said just what I wanted to say, but you said it very succinctly. That's because I only know a limited amount of words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Um, yeah. It's easy to do it. You just need a kind of, this is the documents I have, and the, these are the kind of ways I wanna sort them. I'm one of those people that if I have more than one or two things on my desktop, it drives me nuts. So, and, and I know other people have every single file they've ever made on their desktop, on their computer. So everybody's different. So there's no one right way but we can go into organization. I, I want to be like you when I grow up. I want, I don't want them all over my desktop. So, so we help. We can talk about that. Okay, good. 
Thank you. Yes. I'll work on that for next week. Yes, Karen. I have a um, Dell laptop, and I know we went over this way, way back. How do I um, check for the speed of my internet? <clears throat> um, there, you, all you have to do is go to the internet, the right. magic world of the internet, and um, you can either favorite um, some, um, one of these websites, or you can just go to Google every time and okay. just type in speed test. Okay. And speedtest.net is one that I've used. Um, and then you just hit go. Okay. And it's magically going to tell you what your speed is. Thank you. Oh, and, and why would you want to know that? So say your computer is being really slow or you're getting buffering issues on your, when you're watching a movie, uh, it just keeps freezing. And yeah. you're like, why is it doing that? Or you're breaking up in a Zoom meeting and you're like, I don't understand why. One of the first things you can do is check your internet speed. Um, and that will tell you, is my internet good or is it being slow? Um, and you, if you are work with uh, Amazon or if you're with Comcast or Verizon, you're paying for a specific amount of upload and download speed. Um, so it, I think I'm paying for 200, over 200, 200 download and 200 upload. I'd have to double check that. Um, I know I just switched my plan because um, they had a deal where there was uh, better internet speeds for less money than I was currently paying. So I made a hissy fit at Verizon. Um, but, um, yeah, so any more, anything under 50 um, megabytes um, upload and download each is pretty slow. Um, but um, it's a way to assess. So one of the first things, if you tell me my internet's not working, if you have internet, it's just not working or it's being slow, the first thing I will say to you is, what's your internet speed? Um, and so that's helpful for that reasoning. Um, and usually when you call Verizon or Comcast for tech support, they will ask you to do one of these as well. But um, I know at church, I do it every Sunday to see if the um, internet's behaving itself for the live stream. So we send you guys a good feed um, going out for the live stream, so. I have a question. Yeah. And you might not be able to answer it because it might be unique to our house. But um, so Margaret has a tablet and she has purchased hundreds of um, songs on this tablet. And somehow these songs appeared in my computer. And so one day, uh, about a year ago, I and it's taking up space on my computer. So I erased all those songs or erased a lot of them from my computer. Well, they they were erased from her tablet too. Hmm. And so, I mean, hundreds of dollars. I just it went. We had to retrieve that. I forget how we retrieved it, but we had to get some help to retrieve it. But what? What's going on there? Why did why did her songs that she purchased that should be on her tablet appear taking up space on my computer? Mm -hmm. Good question. Um, it's all because of the magical cloud. My guess is um, you and her her your computer and her tablet are on the same uh, iCloud account. So you are you don't have two accounts set up. My guess is you have one that you set up together and you're sharing. Okay. And my guess is you're by, she bought the music off iTunes. I could be wrong. Probably, but, probably. Um, 
my guess is, and so it was going to your account. It was, even though you can have multiple credit cards and things on there, it will sync across all the devices. Uh -huh. um, I'm surprised it downloaded onto your laptop though. Usually for iCloud or iTunes, you might buy it on the tablet, but then you can download it on your laptop. Um, it's just cloud-based. Um, and if you delete it from your computer, it shouldn't delete it from the tablet. That's where I'm a little confused. Yeah. To be able to re-download it again without having to pay for it again. Um, so I don't know what I'm happened. I'm curious. Um, if you, is it an iPad? I'm guessing it's an iPad. Is her tablet? Um, I, I think so. I'd be curious to check and see what her iCloud account is. If you go to settings, you can see the name of the account and the email associated with it. And then you can check on your computer if it's the same one. Um, okay. But she should, and then if you have your phones, they should also have the music available if you want to put them on the phones. If you all are Mac people and have iPhones and don't have yeah. any. Okay, so I would go to settings. Go to settings and check your name and email. But that's easy enough to get back if it's that. If it's something else, I'm not sure. Okay. I'd have to look at it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry that happened though. It sounds like a nightmare. Oh, she was she she was not a happy camper for a little bit. She thought we totally lost it. The nice thing about the cloud is it's harder to lose things. There's usually a way to get it back. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yes, Karen. You mentioned about how you uh, check every Sunday for your for the internet speed before mm -hmm. live stream goes out. Yeah. Is that something that we would want to check if we are setting up a Zoom class? You can if you want. Um, it's not a bad thing. You don't have a lot of time to fix it if it is mm. funky. Okay. Um, so you'd have to be on hold with Verizon and things. Um, for It doesn't hurt. It never hurts to check. You can check your internet speed all the time, but um yeah i do it just because i'm a nut, nut case when it comes <laughs> to <laughs> making sure the stream goes out on a sunday morning i probably don't have to do it i just do it because i'm weird um no no <laughs> there's a lot more people involved in that one that's true um but yeah um yeah, so my guess is you could check it, and if it is lower than you're paying for, um, you can close all the internet-based programs on your computer or tell other people, like unplug the TV and things like that, that could be sucking up. Okay. Um, I know a lot of parents that have kids in school right now doing virtual school the first day of school this week, they had to run around doing that because the internet speeds were too low in their households. Mm -hmm. um, or they'd be like, I'm on this hour, get off. So a lot of, a lot of people are up, upping their internet speeds because they have three or four kids mm -hmm. you know, on Zoom all day, plus they're doing remote work. It's not, not good. So. Lynn, if you up your internet speed with Verizon, are they likely to need to send out a new box for you? Um, it depends on what you jump to and what your currently is. I jumped from 50 over 50 to um, 200, I think. And uh, my outdoor box was fine, but they had switched. Um, it was no longer through, um, was it an ethernet? No, it was the coax cable, it was the coax cable. And they had, with the new, with the higher speeds, they needed it to be an ethernet cable. So there was a guy that just came out and ran an ethernet cable in, um, 
and he was here for maybe 15 minutes and did that. Um, but they didn't have to change the outdoor box um, for that. Uh, so depending on if you already have an ethernet cable instead of a coax cable, they shouldn't need to um, do anything. I know I've talked to some people and they've, they just like autumn within 24 hours got the higher speeds other people needed like me a new cable but so how would we know the difference if we looked at our would cable they would tell you okay when you and, and it was free they didn't charge me for it mm -hmm. because you're up up upping your speed like <laughs> right and and did they let you do that without changing your tv channel package oh see i do not have a bundle subscribe I don't have a landline and I don't have a uh, cable. So okay. <laughs> I cannot speak to that. I know my parents recently upped their speeds and my dad got them some really good deal. He talked Verizon into giving them something, but he's also mm -hmm. been with Verizon for 25 years. So mm -hmm. they're they do what he wants. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, you, I, you'd have to talk to them. Okay. I'm sorry. No, that's Lindsay. good. It's helpful to know because I know I'm at 75 and I think it's slow based on what we're trying to do today with Zooms and more streaming. Mm -hmm. But they will run the ethernet cable from your, where it comes into the house to where your um, router is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he came out and um, met like, uh, the cable was just on this like huge bundle and he wired it all the way to um, to the um, router and then he like hit it under the carpet in this weird way. So it's great. It, um, I have a question. Yes. Um, actually a couple of them. Um, my PC, I, I still have not uh, purchased my iMac that I want to, so I'm still uh, using the PC. Um, and um, it says on the top that there's updates available for Office. Mm -hmm. So I am afraid to click on them because every time I do updates for Office, then my computer is totally different, the, the, everything. So. But I just wanted to know, is it safe that I say, yeah, go ahead and update it? Mm -hmm. It should be safe. Um, I was, I don't know if you guys know Sue Fry, she's been on this a few times, but she's doing the journey class on Sunday afternoon. And I did a practice with her this week and she was getting an error message anytime she tried to open her PowerPoint. And it's because she had to do that update or it, uh -huh. it wouldn't let her use that. So I don't know, have you, been able to use the software. Um, yeah, I've been using people, it, but if uh, you're able to use it, unlike yeah. her, then you could probably, you know, keep plugging away until you get your new computer. But it should be safe to do. Updates okay. are safe to do. And the other uh, question I have is, um, I have uh, pop-ups at the bottom of the PC that says Microsoft. Um, uh, there's a problem with Microsoft uh, and it says maybe you changed passwords. Um, I haven't, but would you say mm -hmm. that, what, what I, do I have to call Microsoft to find out? Do you know, you're more of a PC guy than I am. You're muted. Oh, you can't talk. Never mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, I don't know a lot about that off the top of my head. You shouldn't have had to change your password again. It sounds you, could that even be a bad person? Mm. Could be. I tried yeah. restarting your computer and see if okay. it comes up again. And go from there. Okay. Because um, it doesn't sound like something that it sh would be standard, but mm -hmm. let me right. know if you need one on one. I'm happy to look at it too. 
Okay, thank you, Lynn. Yeah. Don't, don't give information to them until you know who they are. Right. Okay. <laughs> yes. I've been there, done that. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Lynn, are you laughing at me? No, it's, it's so true, though. Like, don't talk to strangers. Don't, no. you know, answer phone calls that you don't know. Don't talk to people on the internet. Um, Life's I, a bell shaped curve. I'm back down here now, just like when I was a little kid, you know. Yep. <laughs> um, I was born the year the internet was invented. And I remember in elementary school, they're like, don't talk to anyone on the internet. It's a bad idea. And it just got drilled in my head. So I just had flashbacks to elementary school. That, that's why. Anyway. You were um, born the year the internet was invented. Created, yeah. Created. I go back to the automobile. <laughs> <laughs> not that, not that. <laughs> You're looking really good for your age, if that's the case. <laughs> I, I make a better still life than moving picture. You know, I'm not just sure. a still life. I'm okay. Yeah. Um, um, can I add something else? Yes, please. On TV, I know I should know this, but you know the advertisements. AT&T, Verizon, Comcast, they're out to get each other. And when they talk about a 5G, is that right, mm -hmm. service? Um, what does that, what does that mean? What does that mean to me? Speed is not that critical to me because I'm slower than whatever speed they have. So mm -hmm. high speed's not critical, but um, is that what that's about? Yeah, it's just a newer version of their the way their technology talks to each other. Um, and for your purposes, you really don't need to worry about it at this moment. It It's just going to transition you automatically when it get there. Uh, 5G um, at this point, um, even though like they're testing it in markets, um, it's mostly for cell phones. And um, 95% of smartphones at the moment do not have 5G cap capabilities. So even though they're testing markets, there are no devices that are out on the market that work with 5G yet. Um, so, you know, in the next five years, you know, we'll, we'll all have switched over most likely in some version or another. But um, at this point, it's still too new. Uh, don't worry or stress over it. Um, it's just the back end, how the tech companies communicate. So they're trying to tell you, oh, this is new and cool. Switch to it. Um, so I had, I have my computer using my 5G speed for no reason. Um, it's maybe your laptop is new and has that feature. Um, my internet access dongle has that has that capability. Yeah, it's possible. I know I get 5GE on my phone, but it's not, even though it says that I have it, I know it's not actually connecting because the phone itself can't handle 5G. Oh, I'm, I'm just talking about the PC. Yeah, I don't know anything about PCs. <laughs> Oh, okay. I know, like, just enough to get myself into trouble. I can do, <laughs> I can do tech support for, for folks, but when it comes to 5G and PCs, I know nothing. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Since yeah. I'm, a P, I'm a PC guy, you know? And your computer's not going to support it, Dan. Yeah. Not Dan, I have it. 5G. You know, I, I don't care. I could care less about 5G. I'm yeah. probably on. I'm probably on 2G. I don't know. Well, 2G <laughs> is a real thing, and that is what you're on. <laughs> oh wow! I'm almost prophetic. <laughs> <laughs> prophetic, pathetic, prophetic. I have um, some. I, I now that I can talk, I have some ideas for you regarding uh, files, 
uh, setting up your files and folders. Great. If you want to stick around at the end, if if that's okay with um, with Lynn. Yep. That's fine. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I will also make a comment about five G. Um, I don't know. I read somewhere, and I'd have to verify that this is true or hasn't changed. But the meteorologists at one point were making a big fuss because the 5G is on the same interference um, as frequency well. as their um, weather devices. So they were really terrified that it was going to mess up their weather prediction capabilities because of that. So that might have changed since I last heard. Or it could be fake news and I just believed it. Um, but um, that's something else interesting about 5G. <laughs> Sue, you had a question? Well, it's kind of a statement and a confession. Mm -hmm. um, I did not realize that if I could Zoom in the groups that I had a Zoom account. Mm -hmm. So I, I Googled and I get in trouble going to Google and then I saw, oh, free Zoom. So I selected it and I have emails now saying activate your account. And uh, so um, I'll have to undo that, right? Like if it's the same email um, as the one you created that you're connected to right now, it should be fine. You're not paying more, are you? I'm, 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 it said it was free, but no, it's a separate email from Zoom US or something saying, please activate your account. Sounds like a phishing email. Uh-oh. Well, I had gone to their site and now I've asked them to come to me. Oh, great. I, I'd be curious. Zoom.us is their website. But I would want to see whatever they sent you or you sent them. Um, I know, I'm sure if you like Google Zoom, that um, it would advertise this is a free thing because yes, it is free. Yeah, I did do that. Zoom, Zoom should not be trying to set up an email address for you though. No, they weren't. They were was said select this to create an account. I got an email and there was a you know, a thing saying, click here to create an account. Okay. I don't know that you need an account unless you're going to be creating Zoom um, I mean, yeah. meetings yourself. That's what just... I want to do. Oh, okay. Um, Sue, what I would suggest, um, do you know the little um, box? Um, the black square that has the join, share, schedule, um, the, that four thing on when you log into Zoom, that's what you see? Okay. There's four buttons. It's like a clock on this side and join. I, try, I always try to share it with you guys and you guys can't see it because it's Zoom. Um, but in the corner, it should have your initials or you can say create an account through that. And that's how I would create an account if you don't have one currently. Uh, because I know that is safe and easy to do. And I thought I had done that with you a while ago, but maybe I'm forgetting. Yeah, so I guess I just have to ignore the emails that I got and use Zoom the way Yes. I, I have an icon with Zoom, the camera, and I can select that, and and a screen comes up, and it, and I'll and I'll look at that more before the fifteenth <laughs> with the class. And um, what was the name of the class that will be September fifteenth at ten? Um, it's the Tuesday morning fellowship group, also known oh, okay. as the retired men at one point, but now they've opened it up to women, so it's a fellowship <laughs> group. Um, so. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm their first speaker of the year. Yay. Helping that. Thank help you. Make sure they all know how to Zoom. Speaking of that, Lynn, do you know any of the topics that they have lined up? 
I asked them to send me a full list of um, what they had planned and they never actually sent it to me. So I'm waiting for that. Once I have a full list, um, I will send it out. The, the, list is, the list is readily available. Oh, do you have it? Well, I'm on the end, you know, I am a mature guy. There's, uh, <laughs> who is it? Um, Dave Goodall told me to send me yes. a, but I didn't get it. Do you want to forward me that email, Dan? I, I, if I had everything filed in the exact way I should have <laughs> stored, then it would be easier to do that. Yeah. Uh, so in other words, I got to be able to find, I, I probably can find it. Yeah. I I'll can try. pester them again. I'm happy to pester. The thing is, it's been updated since I would have it probably. But, okay. but the point is, is they have it and um, yeah. Any, any speakers pop out to you, Dan, that you remember? I know the uh, pastors all do one at one point. Yeah. I'm not poppable right now. Nothing, <laughs> nothing pops, but they have a good range of things. You're the first one. That's quite an honor. That's good. I think they were more worried that people didn't know how to Zoom and they wanted help. <laughs> no, don't put yourself down. That's, they, they, you're, you're a good addition, so that's good. Happy to do it. Um, other Let, comments? I mean, you were invented the same day as the internet. So that, Not the same day, the same year. Wow. <laughs> um, this uh, Tuesday morning fellowship, it says that it starts at 9.30. It, it's um, fellowship from 9.30 to 10 a.m. Ah. So if you want to come and meet and greet with folks, you can. Oh, but okay. presentation starts at 10, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to come and say hello, you're welcome at 9.30. But, yes. Um, other questions? I know we've um, got Lynn, time. I've got yeah. another question. I yeah. have, when I um, open up, um, I don't even know what you call this. It's um, a little... It's to the side. There's a menu on the side, and it says iCloud Desktop Documents, AirDrop, all my files, application download, and all that stuff. And I guess that's where you uh, keep all of your stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, in in all my files, that has everything, and it has stuff I don't even want. I mean, there's mm -hmm. just tons of stuff that somehow got in there mm -hmm. that just sort of downloaded itself somehow. Maybe it's set, maybe your iCloud set, so whatever you do on one device, it automatically goes to the others. It must, and I think I'm, that, I'm getting Margaret's stuff on that too. So I've got a ton of stuff there. Um, but there are things on there that I um, somehow downloaded when I opened up uh, uh, some file, you know, some email um, years ago when it downloaded, you know, it downloaded something from it and it ends up in all my files and stuff. How do, how do you um, clean that up every now and then? Do you just go into your all my files or do you, if you have something like that, do you just go in and clean it up periodically or how do you avoid getting junk in there to begin with? Well, I set my um, stuff um, so it doesn't sync everywhere. Like certain things sync, like photos will sync, but that's really it. Are you talking on your phone or are you talking on your computer? Or are you talking about both? On my com just don't, well, I don't even know what's happening on my phone. That's another whole galaxy there. But I'm talk right now. <laughs> I'm just talking on my computer. Okay. This is what's happening on my computer. Okay. So under your system settings and Apple ID is where you're seeing this. Well, it's it's um, it's uh, all my files. It's it's <laughs> I don't even know. Um, 
I open up, the way I get to it is I open up a folder and then when I open up a folder, any folder to the left, I'll have all these selections, iCloud Drive, desktop, oh. document, and then I just click all my files and then um, just to, you wouldn't believe all the files in this computer that I, I don't, yeah. I don't want. Yeah, you've, you've got um, all your files in your finder favorites, I'm guessing, um, which might not necessarily be your documents and I'm sure it's system updates. There's a lot of like behind the scenes stuff that you never need to pay attention to. Um, but they are needed to run your computer. Well, so. when, I hit, when I hit documents, that's interesting. I get a folder. I, all I get is a folder that says Microsoft user data. Does that make any sense? It doesn't sound like you have a lot of folders. And this goes to uh, Dan's question of organizing folders in your computer. Um, but um. our if you click that Microsoft thing, does it open, have all your saved Microsoft folders? Let me see. I'll, I'll click it. Um, Stephen, are you saying something? Because we can't hear you. It has, a, a, it has a lot of things that I think, they're, they're, they're not things that I made. They're things that came with the computer. Mm. Okay. Like things that what? say... Office uh, printing forms, Excel, Excel script menu items. Do you have a folder called My Documents? Um, do I have a folder? It's just called Documents on a Mac. Documents, Mac. yeah. That, yeah, that was it. I hit Documents. When I hit Documents, I get this one little folder that says Microsoft use user data. You so have your data. <laughs> Your data is somewhere else then. You keep all your, your files somewhere your, else then. Your Word documents and things that you make, I'm guessing they're on your desktop then or your downloads? Okay, yeah, I have a lot on my desktop. Mm. Well. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why we need to have this filing system. Yeah, uh, that's, that's, talk, not, the best place. that's not the best place to keep them. If we're going to stay on afterwards, if Marty's available, should she be part of that? Well, you're a PC person and she's a Mac person. So it's two different. The idea is the same, how to organize. Yeah. Um, but what I've done, and I thought I was doing it the best way, is I have files on my desktop. Mm -hmm. And then I just drag things like I, I have one called um, serving at the crossroads mm -hmm. and I just drag everything that's serving at the crossroads into that file mm -hmm. and but it stays on my desktop mm -hmm. is that a, is there a better place for that to go well <laughs> Microsoft yeah. puts it in my in documents but I don't use documents so Microsoft, oh, okay. So well, I put Martin, that in. You drag it into documents and it will clear up space on your desktop. So if you want a neat desktop, you can drag that into your documents folder and then you can click on documents and see all of the folders. Uh, and it will make your desktop look nice and pretty and empty when you turn it on every morning. Like well, most what, of my what, stuff is in documents. Mm -hmm. Well, so what, what is the difference between, okay, all my files is just everything. And it's everything not even, on your computer. It's, it's not even organized. It's just my computer just spit it in there, didn't organize it, oh, where do you put want? it in there. I would suggest you deleting that tab from your uh, finder favorites so you don't have to look at it because um, it's nice to have, but you don't want to look at it because it will make you really depressed um, <laughs> because it's a lot of stuff that is computer language that will make no sense to you. To just, you mean delete all my files? No, no, that, that 
you need all of it to run your computer, um, but it's not anything that you need to know or be aware of. Okay. Since if you if you delete everything in that, it's going to wipe your computer. Right. So. But you said to hide it. You can hide the folder so you don't see it. So you're not inclined to click on it and see that. See all my files, all that. Yeah. Just 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 for peace of mind. That's what you're saying. Yes. Yes. Okay. You. Um, and if you. Um, if you want to highlight, if you want to click, right click over all my files, it should say remove from sidebar. And that should um, remove it from your okay. list of options. Okay. But I, you know, I wouldn't have known that Margaret had all of her um, music on my computer if I didn't have that all my file thing to click. Mm. I wouldn't have known that. Yeah, unless you opened iTunes. Is it, physically, opened on, iTunes. Is it physically on your computer or links to the cloud? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> my guess is it's links in the cloud, which if that's the case, you can ignore it. Okay. These probe, these probe it's not detectors. actually stored on your computer. Okay. But it's shared under your account, so. Yeah, so what I'm hearing is it's good for people to have different iCloud accounts. I would um, get Margaret her own iCloud account. Yeah, so I don't get all these bebop songs on my computer that I don't want. You might be able to transfer that song over to her or gift it to her um, if you create an account for her so it can be. Oh, that's her. right. I'll have to transfer all those things or, to her. Yeah, or you name your account Margaret and create a new one for you. Well, then all my, my information will transfer to her too. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. I'll have to figure that out. It's a project should, to start on. <laughs> should, uh, should you share your screen so we can be more okay. understanding of what you have in front of you? Okay. Um, let's see. How do I do that? There's a um, I'm sorry. Is that a Go good ahead. idea or a bad idea, Lynn? I'm happy to, if, uh, but I don't want to make everybody else bored if they right right <laughs> <laughs> okay i won't share it but um we'll we'll talk about it later okay but, um thank you <laughs> yeah yeah happy um but yeah i'd start thinking about getting margaret an account with the yeah. items and then slowly that's that's another long project for the two of you for another day. Oh, and I got my new computer. How do you like it? I don't know. I'm afraid of it. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I am totally afraid of transferring, you know, giving up my old, that I know, I know this computer, that, you know, well, I know it well enough, but, um, you know, to transfer everything over to it, um, that I have to do that and uh, haven't done it yet. It so might that be, might be something you can help me with. I'm happy to help you with that, but that's actually a good time to switch over Margaret's stuff and your stuff. Yep. You, you're actually in a really good time to do that whole project. You could kill both of those in one go. Okay, well, we'll have to talk about that. I yes, don't want to bore everybody else because that's pretty a unique um, conversation. Yes, yes. And a big project. Oh, okay. Not a big project, but yeah, you know, more than 15 minutes. Yeah. It's unique, but it's not unheard of project. I mean, look at here, more than one of us have it in the church here. I mean, it's there's more commonality than you might think. 
Mm -hmm. It's true. Um, I know we're over 11, so if you need to run, I take no offense. Um, it was lovely to see you all. Um, talk next week about organizing computers. <laughs> Exciting times. Okay. Um, right. I know Dan wanted to stick around for something. I don't know if others want to or not, but um, it's good to see everyone. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Lynn. I'm going to drop off. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.